www.newdeboss.com. This is again Ty. Uh, this is going to be a quick video tutorial on how you can remove the audio on a video file and try to export that using Adobe Premiere CS6. Uh, open up Adobe Premiere and um, I assume that you already have a video file that you'd want to use but you have uh, I mean you are required to remove the audio from it so you just going to use video and have it muted something like that so what you want to do is go to new project right here say uh, video mute <laughs> let's use that like that uh, video right here time code audio audio samples DV this is going to be alright just leave that like that I got name right there uh, video mute click on OK and uh, frame rates right here uh, go to your video file this is going to be the video that we're going to use as a sample um, right click on that go to properties it's an MOV file uh, you could use whatever file uh, mp4 AVI it's all gonna work go to details right in there it says frame width 1280 frame height 720 uh, you can use full HD like 1080p but I can't because the video that I have is limited the camera that I used a uh, Canon camera doesn't support 1080 so I just use 1280 I mean 720 and you got frame rate right here take a look at here it says 720p 24 but this is 720p but this is 29 frames per second so what you want to do is uh, select that in there, but you don't have an option. Uh, just for now, click on 24 because it's going to automatically change the settings later. You got a sequence name. Um, just paste the title of the project that we have right uh, earlier. Video mute. Again, sequence name would be your video name, like blank dot mp4 blank dot mov something like that, and just click on OK. It's going to manage to give you a workspace right in there. You got uh, this is the two important parts of uh, of your workspace: your preview and your timeline. So you don't have to concentrate much on this, but on this too, yes, you would. So go to uh, the file. I mean, go look up the file right here. Click on that, hold, drag, drop in here. And take a look at that. It's going to say uh, mismatch with the sequence settings. The sequence settings, like earlier, it says uh, 24 frames per second, but the original video is actually 29.97. So it's going to ask you if you'd want Adobe Premiere CS6 or Pro CS6 to match the settings for you automatically. You always would want to have this checked so that you can speed up your work you don't have to verify and look up for the file and right click over that and check on properties so just click on change sequence settings and it's going to match the sequence of your video file with the project that you have right so this is a video sample that we have in here this is one of the the videos that we created an outtake for, for the video unboxing that we've had for a phone if you want to see that, it's a Carbon A9 Plus uh, Cherry Mobile Flare here in the Philippines. You can just look that up in the list of videos that we have. And what you want to do is, uh, again, you'd want to remove the audio for this, all right? So how you'd want to do that, let me uh, show that to you. This is your audio file, and this is your video file. It says in there, Video 1, Audio 1. If I play that then you can hear background noise alright let's say you'd want to lay I mean overlay a voiceover on that but you don't need this right here there are a lot of ways in how you can do that you could just click and hold on this volume bar right here the yellow bar or the yellow line I, could, I should say and bring that down to zero decibel and you don't have audio anymore right so if you export that it's just like saying that the audio goes minimal so if you play it then you don't have audio anymore you can export that it's gonna work but uh, if you let me go back if you don't want to do that so you can save a workspace right here you would want to do unlink 
uh, right click over that go back highlight right click got something that says unlink right here the reason why you'd want to do unlink um, because you can specifically delete this part highlight delete and you're left with just the video sometimes control Z to go back you would need to move the audio a little bit going right because there is some sort of a delay so what you would want to do with that let's say uh, the person talking on the video is a little bit delayed because of the frame rate so what you'd want to do unlink that so you can release it and uh, move a little bit so you can match the video then highlight again so you can lock it right click and link it back now this time if you pull it it's gonna be like that already alright so again two ways bring it down so you can mute uh, right click unlink click delete to remove the audio or here's another part I mean here's another option in case you'd want to do everything fast control A uh, sorry let me link it back uh, remember that it's linked up already alright I mean still linked up so what you want to do go to oh, let me just cut this so everything is fast control v, oh, sorry V let me just do it fast for you there you go alright so let's say that uh, let me bring the volume up all right still it's it's, uh, it's got a volume in there uh, I mean it's it's got a noise background noise you'd want to remove that go to file go to export go to media and um, whatever file extension you'd want to use you could change that in there but here you got export video you got export audio it says at least one media must be selected so bring back video then remove audio so when you export that you don't have the audio anymore but still you have the video with all the settings that you created so there you go three options or three ways and how you could remove the audio of a video file while editing that on Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 get for some other Adobe Premiere tutorials or Adobe Audition tutorials you can check out www.newtoboss.com and please do subscribe to our channel so we can make it grow. Okay, my name is Ty. Thanks for watching.